My Jeep is 24 months old today. Am I happy with it? Well, I've taken it on uh, several road trips. One road trip was a very long road trip from the uh, East Coast, West Coast, and back. And I've uh, put on about 29,000 miles on it. But am I happy with this 2022 Jeep Wrangler High Tide JL? Well, I'm gonna answer that in a few moments. I must admit that it is a very, how can I say, handsome looking vehicle. I've made uh, several modifications to it and I've cataloged those in several videos. But permit me to do a recap on some of those modifications. Let's begin back here in the rear. I've had this rear handle right here, which I like, replacing the stock one. I've added these covers to cover over some wiring that was hanging down. There's one on the left here and one on the right. They're still holding in place. Uh, I also added a uh, fire extinguisher mounted here. Uh, down here, I add these covers. And this is just a protective measure. I have these on all of the door hinges. And as of late, if you look up, you'll see that I added some uh, headliners. It's about nine pieces. Two back here. There's one, two, three, that's five, six, seven. And there are two up front, which I'll show you here. eight and nine. Now what's the purpose of those headliners? Well, they don't, in my opinion, don't really insulate outside noise, but uh, they do uh, go a long way in keeping the uh, air conditioning in and uh, the heat in. And I've also noticed too that I don't have an echo when I'm uh, speaking or even listening to music. And they weren't very expensive, very easy to install. And if we go up front here again, up here on the dash, I removed the uh, stock uh, housing here and added uh, another one that looks just like it, but it adds a little bit more functionality where I can mount this uh, mobile phone holder, which works out very well. For aesthetics, I added these uh, dials here, they're blue. Added some uh, cup holder, padding down there. I added this. This is very inexpensive, but it gives me uh, lots of padding. This armrest here. And up here, I added this unit here. This is a, a dome light housing that wraps around this unit here. I don't know why the Jeep folks didn't add a dome light up front. There's one right here, and it's on right here. It sits behind me. So I put my own up here. And uh, I have not had to change the battery on this yet. It has lasted uh, almost a year. And it allows me to read maps and other things while I'm sitting up front here without using the dome light, which is quite bright. I also add to the Jeep this roof rack and I mounted on top of it that Thule cargo box. Also, I added these uh, grip handles, come in quite handy for short persons entering to the Jeep. I have one on this side over there, this is the passenger side, and there are two up front there and over there. The last thing that I added to the Jeep were these OE style uh, running boards. 
I installed these myself. It took about one hour to install because it was a one-man job. I removed the stock rock rails. I'm going to keep those in the event I want to put them back on at some later date. But the reason that I got these is because I think they look good. And also, they allow me to step up and get to my uh, cargo box where I can uh, load and offload items into it. Now the question, do I like the Jeep? Am I happy with it? The answer is a resounding yes. I'm very pleased with this uh, Jeep Wrangler. Oh, I should also add that I removed the stock antenna and included a rubberized whip antenna. But yes, I'm very pleased with this vehicle. Uh, it's a very quiet ride for a Jeep. In fact, surprisingly quiet. Uh, it's a smooth ride. It's a very strong ride. And I would buy another one. If I were to buy another Jeep, I would buy another Jeep Wrangler. And as many of you know, uh, if you followed my videos, I actually camped out back here when I was on road trips. Saved me lots of money. As far as checking into hotels, there's plenty of space in the back for me to stretch out. And um, it's just a great utility vehicle. I have a tow hitch down here. So I could pull stuff with this if I wanted to. I have not taken this off-road because I didn't really buy it uh, to take it off-road. I don't believe in spending a lot of money on a vehicle and then just abuse it, bang it up. But in the event of the apocalypse, I'm just kidding here, folks, I could take this off-road if I needed to. So yes, uh, very happy with the Jeep Wrangler. It is two years old today. Until the next video, you guys take care.